What up? 82 Box Chevy Boy back. Man, <laughs> it took forever, but I finally got this issue right here resolved of my AC. Let me show y'all. Crank it up the first time today. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Blowing good. Just like how it is on my level. If I had AC, it would blow through there too. Good. <laughs> got it fixed, man. Definitely got it fixed. Got it fixed. So let me tell you or show you how I got it fixed. This little piece right here. Yeah. This little piece right here caused me all that damn problems, man. So as you know, in the back of your um control climate, it's gonna look like this. This right here is my old one. You know where the pieces go over here. And then you put this right into it. Sucks on to it. It's supposed to get air out of it and everything. So what was going on with mine is I don't know if you can see it or not, but like more that I'm trying to put it as close as I can where it can see, but the inside of it kind of worn out on it and basically what it was was the vacuum was escaping the air was escaping through that's why i was hitting all the hissing noise every time i put it on vent and it wasn't working so what i did was this came off the one i had bought the new one i had bought in the old video and the one i took off my old one my original one i put that on my new one so when I put that one on that one, luckily the little clip, they be coming with a little clip. Let me see. Nah, it ain't got no clip on here. Okay, let me show you. This is what the clip look like. These clips be breaking quick. Right here. So luckily I had, it didn't break. Swapped it out and put it on there. And once I did that, man, blowing. Blowing straight up. Blowing, man. Ooh. So I got that fixed. So yeah, man, I just want to really just give y'all a quick little update on it and uh let me show you up under the hood real quick right. so as you can see my lines Got them ran. Got them ran right here to this right here ran to the heater core. And then I got my other one ran to the manifold. So I just got those ran up good. And after that. Everything running good on it, man. On it. So, that little piece right there is basically what was causing this whole issue um, of why everything was getting messed up, man. This little piece right here. So, if y'all ever got any issues with it, make sure you check this piece. If you're hearing any hissing noise or you pretty much your vent still ain't working, make sure you check the piece. 
on the back of your control climate. And every right there is going to get you always set up and everything. But definitely, um, man, I'm get a shout out to LS Chevy Rider 254, um, Box Chevy Rider, um, Steve Davis, my boy Pappy Chevy. Man, shout out to all y'all, man, because at the end of the day, y'all the ones that really um, helped me and got me in this position now. So now, it's on to the next, man. Piece by piece with the Chevy, man. That's all it is, piece by piece. On it, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, one more thing, too. Let me show you this. One more thing. In the first video I showed you when I was giving y'all a tour around, I now probably showed y'all my gas meter, right? So you can see right now my gas meter working. So let me tell you this, probably a rookie mistake, honestly. If you look right there between, if you look far down there, you'll see a little pink line. I'm gonna go up under here. You see that line? That's pink and white through there. Make sure that's connected. That's the ground wire. That's the ground wire to your gas tank. You get that connected, it's gonna work. If it's connected there, it's probably gonna be a fuel sending unit. But after I connected it, gas made it work and everything, man. So this is like a quick update. Just wanna give a shout out to y'all, man. Got that fixed. Be looking out for more videos. Um, I know I got another one coming just to give y'all a small update of what I'm going to do next too. So I'll get back up with y'all.